making a blood spot card. Place the sample under the hood. Ease off the cap. Place the sample back in the rack. Take a code that corresponds to the sample. Place it on the filter paper. And this is a, a human ID blood stain card. Start placing the sample onto the filter paper. After that, place the cards back here so it can dry. And the sample's done. After the spin is complete, you open up the centrifuge and take out the samples. You can see the sample's been separated into plasma, buffy coat, and packed red blood cells for these three tubes, and for the fourth, it's only serum. After the sample is completing its processing, come over here to the hood, place the sample underneath the hood. Take out the blood tube, ease off the cap. Place the tube back in the rack. Start removing the caps out of the vials. Then take off the pipetter, take one tip, start placing the sample into the vial. And the sample is complete. Now I place the caps back into each vial. Finally, I ensure all the caps are tight and secured. Dispose of the waste, and the sample is complete. Place the samples here and start printing off the labels. Here comes the labels. Each label has a barcode and a location of the tube. Start removing each label. Placing it onto the vial. The vial will have the barcode, the location of the tube, and what's inside the tube. After taking out the correct box, I ensure that it's the correct position for each sample by looking at the label and matching it up with the box. And this will be in position one inside the box, followed by position two, and so forth. And now these samples are ready for storage.